guys, it's Ren. So um, today I'm going to be doing my July top 10 favorite products and this is seriously like my fourth time filming this so I'm kind of like a little bit annoyed and ticked off but um, yeah because I recorded it yesterday and then it didn't record like like some, it didn't record like the beginning of something and the end of something and I was like I just have to record all over again. So I'm a little bit frustrated about that but yeah I'm just going to get to it and um yeah, I've been wanting to get this stuff for a while, so to start. So my first favorite product that I want to talk to you about is a hair product, which I absolutely am in love with, and I do not know what I'd do without it. Um, and it is my Organics Re Renewing Rock and Argan Oil Penetrating Oil, which is a very complicated, long name. It took me a while to get that down. Um, but basically, this is like kind of like an oil product, kind of like a ch like the cheese silk infusion almost. Um, so this is like 10 times cheaper and it actually works so nicely. I will put this on every single time I take a shower. When my hair is damp, I will run this all the way through my hair and I will, I hate air drying my hair because I always feel like my hair gets just really like, it just doesn't, the style just gets all frizzy and gross. But after using this, like after the first time that I use this in conjunction, I also use the shampoo and conditioner that are the same rock and organol formula as this. My hair felt so soft. I let it air dry and I had zero frizz, zero like weird little patches, everything was so smooth and I was so happy and this is only like $8 at Target. You can also get it I think at Ulta, because Ulta actually carries, carries the organics line as well. So um, yeah, definitely a really good line, like the only thing is that like the Moroccan Argan Oil uh, from Organics is like a dollar more expensive than the rest of the line just because it's like a more expensive ingredient, which makes sense, but yeah, I absolutely love it. My second favorite product is a skincare product, and this is something that I started using, um, I think maybe into like the beginning of the month, I'm not really sure, but um, yeah. And so it is this lotion, and this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Radiance Cream with SPF 15. And so I saw an ad for this, and I think it was in um, Women's Health. I'm not entirely sure, but um, I saw an ad for it, and I was like, oh, that looks really cool. And so it's a radiant boosting moisturizer that you put on daily. And so I use that in the morning and in the night, and I'll put it all over my face and on my neck. And it makes my skin so soft and it makes also makes it really like glowy I feel like. I've been using a lot of products that I've been really improving my skin like my tissue moisturizer. I feel like the condition of my skin has improved so much by using that instead of just using a foundation every single day. And this is really helping too. It's just really boosting my skin and you're supposed to see like results after four weeks of using it. And I've been using it for about three but my skin is like amazing. So I'm really, really satisfied with that product. My third favorite product is this E lip balm and this is in strawberry shortcake flavored and um I'm not sure exactly when the EOS lip balms came out but I remember like seeing somebody doing a haul with um one of these in the haul and I was like what is that and then they were like talking about how it's a lip balm and after, ever since I've been wanting to get one and I never could find them like anywhere at stores until one day I went to ride and I saw some and I was like oh I just won't grab it that day and I'm really glad I didn't because I went to Ulta um I think it was last week Maybe it was this week. No, it was last week. And um, I got one of these because they had these little individual ones. And they had a pink, a yellow, a red, and a green. And I got this one because it said strawberry shortcake. And I love strawberries to death. And so it is like the coolest thing because you open it up. And it's in like this like shape. Like it makes me think of like a planet or like a little egg or something. And you just put it on. And I had some lipstick on so you can see like a little bit of residue. But it gets both your top and bottom lip at the same time, which is really awesome because I always like, I'm always like really, like I am obsessed with my lip balms. Like I love my lip balms and I always have one with me at all times. I'm putting it on every like 20 minutes because I just want my lips to be perfect all the time. And I absolutely love this and it smells so good and I want to try some more. I really want to get the one with SPF in it before I go off to Europe, which I'm going in like two weeks. And um, I'm really excited with it and I really like it and I can't wait to try out some more of the flavors. My fourth favorite product is like my absolute favorite lipstick now in the entire world. Oh my god, I almost dropped it. And um, it's this lipstick from Revlon. And this is one of the Revlon Super Lustrous Lipsticks and this is in a matte formula. And this is number 11 Stormy Pink. And I think I've mentioned this lipstick a few times in tutorials and hauls and stuff, but this is truly a fantastic lipstick. The color is just gorgeous. It's this really awesome kind of like bluey tone pink, and um, 
it looks so nice on. I'll just little swatch for you right there. But it's such a pretty color, and I love that it's matte too because anytime I get a bold pink lipstick, I really want it to be matte because I feel like the sparkles just kind of go a little bit overboard. But this is like the perfect bright lipstick for me, and I just love it to death. And I use it so much when I was in Hawaii, especially like every time we'd go out, I would put it on with um I'd usually just do like mascara and some eyeliner and then I'd put this on and I'd just be like perfect and ready to go and it's just absolutely like my all time favorite lipstick right now and I love it so much and I can't wait to wear it into the fall and yeah I just really like this lipstick. <laughs> My fifth favorite product is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and um, I remember when people used to talk about these all the time in tutorials on YouTube, and that's really how I found out about NYX, the brand in general, and I didn't even know they sold it in my state until I found it one day in a local drugstore, and I came, got so excited because I found milk, and I was like, oh my god, I've heard so many people talk about this product. So this is just like, it's a plain matte white eyeshadow pencil. And it's perfect for using when you have a really vibrant shadow or for just every day. But it just comes on in a perfect matte white. And really opaque too, which I love. And then um, it's perfect because you can just rub it in a little bit. And it still holds, holds like basically all of its pigment. So it's amazing. I used it in my Hawaiian Princess tutorial. And that was like, if I hadn't used that, I probably would have looked like just a muddy mess all over my eyes. And the color probably wouldn't have been like that vibrancy that I wanted it to have. But it's truly just an awesome little product. So cheap, but so like worth the money. And like, I want to try some more of the like more expensive like eyeshadow pencils, but I know that I will always love my milk because it's so nice. <laughs> my sixth favorite product, and I'm sure I've put this in like almost every single tutorial I've filmed ever since I got this, is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. And this mascara truly is like the best one I've ever used in my entire life. I swear to God. Um, the wand is just fantastic. Like, it looks like a basic little wand, and you think, like, oh, it's just whatever. But the bristles are amazing, and they really do give your lashes, like, such an amazing look. It doesn't look like you have, like, fake lashes or anything like that, because I'm wearing it today. It doesn't give you, like, a false lash look, but it really does just fill them out. This is one coat on each of my lashes. Like, usually I will do two or three coats with any other mascara, but this just gets your lashes immediately and it's just phenomenal it was $22 though which is the only thing I don't like about it but I had a sample before like I had the little sample size so I knew like I liked the product I would have not bought this if I hadn't tried the sample because I would have never spent $22 on a mascara that I can only use for three months but I will use this probably every single day for the next two more months that I have this product because it is fantastic. I've never used anything so amazing and I used to think that all mascaras were kind of the same whether they were drugstore or expensive which I still do think but I do think that some depending on the brand or the brush are a lot better than others and I definitely think this is the best mascara ever like ever ever ever. <laughs> My seventh favorite product is most definitely the Sonia Kaushik Radiant Tension Moisturizer with SPF 15 and I'm in between shades right now so the shades that I've been using right now are beige which is the one that I started with and now I mix it with tan and um it gives me like the perfect skin color kind of and I'm wearing it today I do have a powder over it so I'm not sure if you're gonna see the real color but it gives me really good coverage like, usually a uh, tinted moisturizer is fairly sheer on the coverage, but it actually does give a really nice coverage to my skin, and I've gotten so many compliments on my skin ever since I started wearing this, and I truly just love it to death, and I think I'm probably going to keep on using it into the winter months, just because my skin sometimes gets a little bit drier in the winter, and I think I'm really going to need something that's really going to boost my skin. But what I love to do to make this a little bit more long-lasting is mix it with just a teensy bit of a foundation. And that makes it even more like perfecting to your skin it, and it really gives it that holding power. Because the only thing that I don't like about this product is that it starts to kind of patch out on my forehead like midday. So that kind of gets a little bit obnoxious and I'm like, yeah, that's not cool. But um, otherwise... I love these products so much. They only have four color shades right now, though. 
so um, if you don't like fill into the range it's a little bit hard but if you do mix shades together you can get kind of like that perfect color that you really want so if you have like lighter or kind of like medium tan skin tones you should really try it out especially if you want to look for a good tinted moisturizer because they're super inexpensive but they work really really well for the money my eighth favorite product is this eyeliner from Mavron and this is the Revlon Colorstay liquid eyeliner in black brown and um, I got this basically just because when it's getting into the summer months, I wanted to get an eyeliner that was like, not a, like a brown brown, but like a dark brown that I could use so it wasn't so like intense as using a black eyeliner all the time. And if you've watched my videos, almost every single time I will use my Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen. So I went and got that one in black brown and I did not like it at all. It was just brown brown it was not like a black brown it was a brown brown and that's not really what I wanted for it but this is awesome because it gives it has a really nice like it's a really dark brown like it looks like a chocolatey brown right on here but when it goes on your skin it shows up just like a really dark brown like almost a, like it is a black brown like the color says but um it just works amazingly well and it's really easy to apply to I've always been really wary of liquid eyeliners because of the applying and I always feel like I'm gonna apply it wrong or just I'm gonna do the line funky but I'm really actually really good with this one because it has a really nice little tip kind of like my like a pen so it's really easy to use and I absolutely love it. It's such a good little product. My ninth favorite product is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Semi Precious Pearl. And this is from the Semi Precious line that came out from MAC about a month and a half ago, I think. And um, I've really been getting into highlighters as of late and using them like a lot more. And I had my Benefit High Beam for a while, which is like a pinky toned highlighter. But I wanted to get one that was kind of like a gold tone that would be really good for summer and also for the fall. So I got this on the same day that I went to the iMaths in Vancouver, and this color is so pretty and so perfect. Like, on the outside is this nice kind of pale gold champagne-y color that just kind of looks like that on your finger. And then in the middle is a mixture of kind of like an orangey bronze and a red and a like a light skin tone kind of color, but they look so pretty together. Like if you rub the two together, it comes out with this really nice finish. But they're also really good if you use them individually, like in their little sections. But um, I absolutely love using the um, lighter shade to just highlight the tops of my cheeks. I don't have it on today, but I've been wearing it like every single day this week, like besides today. So like, of course, today would be the day that I don't wear it. But it truly is just an amazing color on your skin. I'll just put some on for you guys to see. But um... It really does give a nice compliment to your natural skin and just giving it this really nice sheen and not too shimmery that it's like overpowering but it's just really pretty and it since it's that golden kind of shade it's keeping your skin that warm like summery gold tone that you want to have so it looks so nice on and I absolutely just, I like am in love with it and I'm probably going to keep on using it until I get into like winter time and then it's like alright I need to tone down the gold. <laughs> and last but not least, my 10th favorite product is kind of conjunction of three. And so these are the Buxom Lip Glosses which I'm absolutely in love with right now. And so I have three shades. I have this nude shade which is Samantha. I have this kind of peachy pinky shade which is called Bunny. And then I have this kind of um, berry tinted shade, which is called Danny. And um, these lip glosses are great alone or over lipstick. I do think that these two colors, um, Danny and Bunny, since they are more colorful, work the, the best over lipstick because plain, they don't really give the true pigment. But Samantha is actually really nice on its own just to... Um, kind of give your like lips like a little bit of a nude boost and also make them plumper but these really do like I really feel like my lips are a lot plumper when I put these on um, I don't have it on today but in some of my past videos I have worn them like I think in like the video where I did my um, big eyes and big lips like they really I really do feel like my lips look a lot bigger when I put it on which is really like what you want out of this lip plumping like effect and they have so many pretty colors and I really want to get some more because I absolutely love them and they're not too expensive um like considering that they're sold at Sephora and like some lip glosses and stuff they're really really expensive like they are I think they're um 
18, 17 or 18 dollars, which is pretty expensive, but in the long run, it's kind of like you're getting a lot of like it's a lot of product and it's really worth it and it actually does work. So it's not like you're just buying this thing that's not gonna work. So um it's so nice, but they're awesome, awesome, awesome. Try to get some if you can because they're really, really, really good. Especially if you have smaller lips, it just really kind of boosts them. So it's really nice. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching my July favorites video. I had so much fun kind of picking out these products and I really do love each and every one of them. I would never recommend a product to you guys that I don't like or that I don't think works well for the money. And I really do think all these products are well worth getting and well worth trying out or at least just like looking into the types of products that they are because I really do love all this stuff. So um, thank you so much for watching again and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.